Hello again, this is going to be quarter three, number two of the questions I'll be doing. And so let's go with it. Um, question one, what makes a piece of music great? Does this vary within and across time and culture? What makes a piece great uh, to me is, oh God, it is going to be how it's played and how the melody or whatever lasting effects it has on the people that listen to it, on how on what um, emotions it it displays, on the music of how fast, slow, how the melody is played from any instrument there is. Sometimes there are people who are picky with their instruments on what they love in hearing the play, but it mostly ranges on how the melody is is in the said music and how it's played and basically what emotions it can give people on uh, listening to it will depend on how they like it. It can vary from any culture or it could have or it could be from back then or to now. It doesn't it doesn't really have much of importance or it doesn't really vary that much. But there are people that do like said music that are from other different cultures like K-pop or any such like country music or such. Or it could happen from the t or back then, like the Renaissance or any of those, any of such. It could vary from anything, but it is not what makes it great gr that great it will always depend on how it's played and what lasting effects it could give people <laughs> that's what i believe and number two uh watch a video on an extent technique of your instrument choose either percussion research and practice different types of rules <laughs> now for the vibrato um of what I've known is that you have to do that, um, the bleeding that singers do, and, and that is uh, something I've been struggling quite uh, a little bit. But for vibrato, it is like a use shown where they have to do this type of bleeding, like a, a little wavy type of um, sound that I've been trying to produce. So trills are basically, you switch from one key to the other and it kind of, from what I've known, it kind of produces almost like a vibrato, but there are different notes that are being played back and forth, kind of. Kind of like how the elbow is being played in stereotypes of hypnotizing cobras through trills and stuff. Now, number three, a demonstration. Yeah, that, like I said before, I unfortunately do not have my instrument. So yeah, I believe I'll be having some points deducting, won't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it, thanks.